Yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough for coming. I mean, it's been difficult. I mean, I've got a job now. Yeah, my mum doesn't seem very happy about it though. She said, this job has gone straight to your head. I thought, where the fuck else was it going to go? To my ass? But I never really understood places like the job centre, you know? Because you, you, you'd be looking for a job, right? And they give you an advisor. What fucking advice would you need, even? You'd be like, hi, I, I have no job. Do you have any advice for me? You'd be like, yeah, get a fucking job. You know? <laughs> and you go for a job interview, and they always ask that stupid fucking question. What do you do in your spare time? It's like, what the fuck, who cares? That's your spare time. Nobody's going to give you a job based on what you do on your spare time, are they? Like, you wouldn't see an employer say, Oh, I just hired this guy. I wasn't originally going to hire him, but because he said he watches bloody Scooby-Doo, I thought, right. Well, you better make you a fucking company executive then. It wouldn't happen. You ever been thrown by the job companies like the ones you applied for? They always say to you, Oh, so it says here on your CV you have this, this and this. It's like, yeah, I know, I wrote the fucking thing. What are you telling me for? <laughs> you know? And then they go make you feel like a right dickhead by saying things like, based on what's on your CV, you're not right for the job. You haven't got any of the skills or experience. I don't know why you contacted us. And it's like, wait a second. If you read my CV and you knew I didn't have any of the skills you're looking for, then why the fuck are you phoning me? What is the fucking point of this phone call? Just fancy the chat? <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Multi-million pound companies, and they got fuck all else better to do than the phone people, who they know are not even right for the fucking job. <laughs> they be in the office filtering through people's CVs like this. Oh. This guy doesn't have any of the skills we're looking for. Right, fucking get him on the phone then. Let's make sure we waste half the afternoon fucking around with someone we don't give a frog's arsehole about. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but so many jobs contradict themselves, right? Like the bus companies. They say, you need to pass the training course because we don't just let anyone become a bus driver. Oh no! We take health and safety very seriously. Yeah! That explains why there's never any fucking seatbelts on the damn bus, doesn't it? <laughs> and believe it or not, you have to train to become a swimming teacher? How fucking difficult is that? A hundred pounds and twenty lessons just to tell you to fucking do this. <laughs> I could have bloody told you that for nothing, couldn't I? But these days, everything is technology. Like you've seen these people texting whilst driving? Has it come to that, really? What the fuck are they texting about that is so important that it's worth risking their bloody lives for? They'd be like this. Well, what are you up to? <laughs> Nothing much. Just about to have a fucking car crash. <laughs> Laugh out loud. What about you? Yeah. See you in a minute when we fucking crash into each other. You know, it's like, soon, they'll be having sex like that. They'll be like, oh, let me just take a Snapchat. Just getting done up the arse, laugh out loud. What do you think, Mum? You know, it's like, just give the fucking thing a rest for half an hour, jeez. But te that's the thing, technology just gets on my fucking tits, even though I don't have any. Like, they say, oh, they've got these HD cameras, right? Like, you've probably all bought one of these. HD cameras that cost about £600 to buy, and it's got a picture option and it called blur. To make the pictures come out blurry. Why the fuck hell would you want to pay £600 for a HD camera to take fucking blurry photographs? What is the bloody point of that? And they got all these things like Pixar, computer animation film companies. They're trying so hard to make computer animation movies look like real life. They say, look, look at the animation on the grassy hill. Look at that. It looks so fucking realistic. It's like, if they really want to make a film that looks like real life so badly, here's an idea. 
Just fucking film one in real life. It'd be bloody easy, wouldn't it? I've got to start my computer. The technology just winds you up. Like, I've got to start my computer. It says, would you like to start your computer normally? How the fuck else would I start it? With strobe light and bloody police sirens? What did you have in mind? You know, and they got the weather forecast. You live in this country, but they tell you what the weather's doing on the other side of the fucking planet. Why would you, what would you need to know that for? You wouldn't be living here and phone your friend up down the road and be like, ah, oh, you want to go to the beach tomorrow? And he'd be like, um, no, I can't, sorry. You'd be like, wait, why not? They say the weather's going to be nice in this country tomorrow. And he's like, yeah, but it's going to be fucking pissing it down in bloody Cambodia. It's like, oh, we'll oh, have to cancel it then. But who knows, maybe if the weather's nice and warm in Ibiza, then you can go for a walk in fucking Corf Mullen. <laughs> but you see, got these motivational programs now. And I love these motivational speakers because they always try to make you think like deep about life and shit. They say things like, in life, how can you move forward if you're always standing still? It's like clearly these people have never heard of a fucking train, have they? Or public transport. I stand on those platforms every fucking day and move forward. It's not that hard, I promise you. And they've got, they've got these polar bear adverts on the telly. Sponsor a polar bear, right? I shit you not, this is real. Sponsor a polar bear for two pounds a month. Two pounds a month? What the fuck can you buy a polar bear with two pounds a month that he's gonna need even? How would that even work? Every month just turn up at the North Pole, surrounded by snow and ice and be like, Hey boy, I got you. I got you some fucking deodorant. You know, stupid ideas. When well, they got these adverts, take this to get rid of that bloated belly feeling. You seen this? Take this tablet. It gets rid of that bloated belly. I've got a product like that for you as well. It's called just go and have a fucking shit for God's sake. <laughs> oh, they got one for diarrhea now as well. You take this little tablet. And it gets rid of your diarrhea. But the thing is, why would you want to get rid of diarrhea? That's like saying all the crap that your body didn't want and can't wait to get rid of, or fucking hold on to it. What bloody good is that going to do? <laughs> and they got like, these wildlife programs. You, you all love these wildlife programs. I know you do. Because they always state the fucking obvious. They say things like, and now we see the lion about to approach and kill the other animal for its dinner. And it's like, well, yeah. He can't go to the fucking supermarket, can he? You wouldn't see like a lion go, like imagine a male lion says to the female lion, Lion, I've just gone out of the shops. What do you want me to bring you back for dinner? Fancy a fucking curry? And they got like, like, these TV news channels are getting more and more and more stupid. Like they say things like, shark attack on the local beach. This swimmer was swimming along, when at the last minute a shark came out of the sea and surprised him. Why are they surprised to see a shark come out of the sea? Where the fuck else was it going to come out of, a bloody casino? <laughs> you know? Uh, right, so, and they got these nicotine adverts on TV. Give up nicotine by taking nicotine patches which are full of, you guessed it, fucking nicotine. That's like me saying, right, I'm serious about giving up drugs, so to prove it, I'm going to give up cocaine and start taking fucking heroin. The problem is still there, you know? Or this one, gamble responsibly. Do they not know what fucking gambling means? Right? Gambling means to take a risk, right? You're doing something risky. And they say, but be responsible. That doesn't make any fucking sense. 
That's like going to the Destruction Derby and he's saying, safety first. It, the two contradict each other. Like you wouldn't see a family where the woman's like, oh, honey, I just gambled away our life savings. And she'd be like, oh, you idiot. What did you do that for? He's like, no, I didn't just gamble it away though. I was responsible about it. She'd be like, ah, well that's all right then, isn't it? What time would you like sex tonight? Good role model for the kids that, isn't it? Kids, most people just fuck things up, but your father does it fucking knowingly. You could learn something from him, you know? <laughs> and they got like this, uh, I like these people who watch sports and say, oh, I don't watch football or TV anymore, nah. I watch it in the stadium for the atmosphere. But you know what they do in the stadium, right? Because the players are too small to see on the pitch, they all sit around and watch the game on another big fucking TV screen. <laughs> and they say, like, there's always some little kid texting in the crowd instead of watching the game. And I often see the players, they shoot the ball into the air instead of at the goal. And I thought about this, and now I know why. They're trying to hit this fucking kid, aren't they? They're like, oi! Get off your phone and watch the game, you dick! But my sport, and you can all probably relate with this, is boxing. Right? Because the referee in boxing, he doesn't have a fucking clue what he's on about. Like, he says, no, lads, I want it nice and clean, okay? It's like, you want nice and clean? What the fuck are you doing here for then? This is a boxing match. We're about to start smacking the shit out of each other in a minute. There's going to be gum shields flying all over the place. You want nice and clean? No problem. You're in the wrong fucking venue. You know? And they always like, they... He doesn't know if he wants you to fight or not. The referee's like, okay, fight. No, wait. Get off each other. Okay. Fight. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right, separate. Right, good fight. And I'm like, ah, oh, would you make up your fucking mind already? You know? And in boxing, this is unfair, they always interview the loser and ask him how he feels about the match. It's like, how do you feel about the match? It's like, what the fuck is he going to say to that? Oh yeah, I'm delighted I lost. If I won, God, I would have been fucking devastated. That would have destroyed my career. You know? But they got these TV talent shows. And all I don't understand is the people who go on these programs always mistake the judges for being their fucking therapist. They say things like, Oh, I've always wanted to be a singer ever since my husband left me for a fucking grandfather. And I'm like, why are they doing this? The talent show judge, he's a talent show judge. He's not your therapist. Like, you wouldn't go to your therapist dressed up as Dorothy and audition for the fucking Wizard of Oz, would you? It wouldn't make sense. Well, you might. <laughs> I mean, I don't know you. I mean, I, I mean, all sorts doing this job. But seriously, why are they doing that? And you get these people who are like, oh, like these dance groups. Now, to me, it just looks like a bunch of jerky movements. And I thought, wait a second. Me and my girlfriend, we do a lot of jerky movements. So we made a video and sent it in. And they said, no, we can't put that on a TV. And I thought, why not? I thought you liked jerky movements. And hey, if me having a 15-inch dick doesn't qualify as being talented, then you talented judges are probably in the wrong fucking business. You wouldn't know talent if you saw it. And they got these, like, owners of talented animals. Now that's not fair. They say things like, oh, my animal is so talented, it flips, it somersaults, it does all this shit. I'm thinking, well, if the animal is a talented one, then what the fuck are you doing here? Leave the animal alone and delay his audition. Stop stealing spotlight. <laughs>